Hey Chanclan viewers, this is Dan, and here's another Tech Talk video of the new Olight O Station X. This is a smart battery charging system, and I picked this up actually as an early adopter through its Kickstarter program. Its AAA version is still pending, but I just received the AA O Station today. Interestingly, on its box, CES hasn't even happened yet was an honoree of the CES Innovation Awards happening uh, in two weeks' time with uh, CES coming right around the corner in January. What is the O Station? Well, if you're like me, we have dozens and dozens of rechargeable batteries that we've been keeping in a little plastic caddy and recharging them periodically. However, you never know which ones get charged because most of the time the kids mix up the charged ones with the dead ones and you end up just with a pile of random batteries that don't work. Well, the O Station X is not only a sorting system, but also a tester, an analyzer, a charger, and a storage station of charged batteries. Simply um, insert the batteries, and the cool thing is it's bi-directional, so you actually don't have to keep uh, the orientation any way, which way or the other. And this plastic sorting system, which you can see here, uh, will bring them down into four potential charging base. Now, as these batteries drop into the charging area, and you can see here, it's already charging. It will analyze the battery looking for abnormal resistance. And if there is an abnormal battery, it throws it out here as a dud. So uh, these are probably older batteries now um, that don't carry a charge anymore or don't are, are basically analyzed as, as not effective anymore. So um, these uh, batteries, you get spit out here, whereas the ones that um, are charging well uh, get charged. And once they're fully charged, they're deployed down here to be used when you need them with almost like a vending machine quality here. Unfortunately, I can scoot it back in to uh, keep them settled here. This whole system here runs on a USB-C uh, power interface. There is a clever design in the back where two USB-C ports are uh, enabled to daisy chain this one to another uh, one. So I'm waiting for the AAA version of the O station, uh, which is a, a separate one. This uh, system operates noiselessly. There's an air intake for uh, a fan if it gets hot. The only thing that I thought was a little flimsy was this area here. Uh, with this kind of grill that slides back and forth. Clever in design, but, you know, I think it's a little bit fragile. It snags or hangs up a little bit here and um, may, it doesn't close that well. Um, so this may be a failure point there. Uh, whether or not you really need it to keep the dust and grime out, I, I, I guess, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, the other thing is it is a little bit tall. So just to give you an idea, here's a set of batteries and the O station uh, does stand up almost like a set of textbooks here uh, with two of them side by side with the, the AAA. Um, this does take up a little bit of space, so I haven't found a perfect nook for this just yet as it's sitting on my desktop uh, just as we're reviewing this. Things that could improve, well, um, it does have a uh, cool app um, that shows uh, its uh, battery details of its analysis. Um, it would be nice if there was some non-app integrated display. Um, as it stands, there's basically one color uh, wheel here that is solid white when it's ready to load, uh, charging when it's blue and green when I think it's on standby uh, or, or processing the next cycle here. So um, you're only supposed to drop batteries in when it's a solid white. Uh, it does have a little bit of a delay booting up. So when it boots up, let's see if I can turn it off. Uh, it does take like five blinks here just to cycle. So that basically says you can add batteries in. And once you've hit the batteries in, if you hit it again, it goes into the screen phase where I think it's reanalyzing um, and determining which batteries to charge. And once it starts charging again, uh, you'll get the blue uh, circle. The blue circle does represent uh, how charged the batteries are. Although I'm not exactly certain when you have four of them, I'm guessing it's just the average of all four, uh, and if they're ready, uh, it does see, seem to just plunk out one battery at a time. 
um, once it's fully charged. So it doesn't have to wait for the whole set, I, I, I believe. Um, so that is uh, an efficient way. The nicest thing about this whole, whole um, O station is the fact that it's like a conveyor belt and a vending machine. You can put your whole stash of dead batteries in here or new batteries, which it does come with uh, a few of these. Let's see, we have 32 batteries. Yeah, we had um, an eight pack times four of these that came with the O station. That may be a Kickstarter perk um, and the O station may be sold separately without batteries. Um, it does also come with a uh, power adapter. The power adapter is a USB-C um, adapter. There was a pseudo recall where other third party power adapters, if it wasn't the right ampage, um, didn't have the right current or the right voltage, uh, would not power this um, uh, effectively. So uh, Olight had to send those out uh, with the Kickstarter program here. Um, hopefully in the retail version that's already uh, included, which I, I think it will be. And it does seem that if you have two stations, uh, one AC adapter and one cable is sufficient if you run them side by side and daisy chain the USB-C. So this is the Olight app. Um, I didn't realize Olight is a realtor, so it actually looks like a storefront. But if you click on my devices down at the bottom, this pairs the O station with Bluetooth. Cool thing about this app is that it is highly functional, uh, meaning that it does show a lot of information in the O station, uh, shows which batteries are charging, and uh, will also tell you not only um, how much power each of the batteries have. So in one and three, it looks like we're charging, but the temperature also, uh, the resistance pattern of the battery, um, there's no battery right now in two, there's an invalid or a dead battery in four, and I guess in this cycle, um, once these are done charging, he'll probably spit these batteries out. So, uh, would be kind of cooler if the, if the analyzer recognized the dead batteries just to spit them out automatically so that they can move the next battery in. So, uh, Olight, that may be a software change that you guys could make in the future that if there's already dead batteries, not to wait the whole cycle, but to, to spit them out and move them on. But you'll see here, uh, it identifies the type of battery, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium battery, and is charging. Voltage graph doesn't seem to appear right now, although at the end of the charge cycle last time, uh, I was able to see that. So that's the battery info. There's also the O station um, cumulative report here. You can see that I had four uh, battery, five batteries that were fully charged to two dead batteries. And okay, there's a fast charge and also a temperature. So we can switch to fast. Uh, I see. So fast charging sounds like it uses more energy, higher temperature, but also the fan. So there's a little bit of a fan noise. So I keep on standard just because I like to keep it silent and slower charging for most batteries, uh, prevents uh, decay of the battery itself. So, all right, that's the app for O Station, uh, available on um, both Android and iPhone. Overall, color me impressed. This seems like a pretty innovative battery station that uh, seems to work a lot better than the traditional four charger, uh, four battery charger plug-in models that require a lot of manual switching and your own accounting of all these batteries. So uh, this is a novel and innovative design for a very old problem and hopefully this makes it into your home so that you can organize your rechargeable batteries and automatically charge them just like I'm doing here. Um, hit the links below that I'll put to uh, Olight's uh, product info. Um, these may not be retail available yet as they were early for Kickstarter, but I anticipate as this takes off, um, this will probably make it into the retail markets. Stay tuned for my AAA comparison where once I get the O Station AAA in, I believe, January, so a couple weeks from now, I'll do another review with them side by side so you can see the details here. Leave your comments, your questions below. Thanks for watching Tech Talk, and we'll see you on the next tech review.